what is up guys i am out here in beautiful pensacola florida it is hot 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 hotter than hot it is the middle of summer if i'm drenched in sweat hoo ya gotta stay in shape finally got the gym back so i'm starting to lift weights again so this vlog i'm going to talk about a school i was reclassified i'm no longer an it i'm now an aviation structural mechanic am i'm actually really excited to be in aviation my dad was in aviation he was in uh, at there's so many cool rates aviation is just kind of a neat industry and there's a lot of stuff i can do outside of the military as well i'm sweating like crazy right now so a school a school is like a technical college for the military and there's a schools all over the country and i got chosen to go in the hottest one it's very humid out here in florida as well it's definitely a lot more mild than boot camp and not as much screaming going on and i'm asking the fucking questions here private do you understand sir yes sir we're still strict on certain things obviously i'm in the military still gotta stand watch uniform inspection still gotta do everything on time checking in and out of the barracks uh, they're starting to restrict the, the liberty now if you don't have the vaccination and the mask mandate is still in effect starting off you do the indoctrination you get your brief by the captain and then um you get started on classes so we're up early in the morning to muster and then we're in class all morning usually until the afternoon we get out pretty early and we're able to go home and start studying and working on our homework and there's a test each week on our duty day you'll have to muster throughout the day but some people if you don't get your classes right away you'll be here on barrack support or you'll do firefighting until you can get your classes the galley here is so much better than boot camp oh my god right off the bat that's like the first thing you notice is the food it's one of the best galleys they said in the in the navy man we have such a good breakfast scratch made omelets we have fresh desserts and and trays of food and we have a salad bar bell peppers and carrots a soft serve ice cream machine i mean we have real coffee again real coffee yeah the food is, is all around way better and then we have the food court here too at the nex so we can get like Panda Express, Subway, and uh, and W, and there's a coffee spot as well. The plan is I'm supposed to be here till September, and then I graduate on the 9th, and hopefully in the next few weeks to a month, I'll learn where my orders are gonna be. It's kind of the toss of a coin right now, you don't really know. You can put down a little wish list, like choosing like the coast, like West Coast, East Coast, or overseas, but ultimately, it's it's really about where the Navy needs. If you do get top in your class, you have a little bit more say into it. A lot of people going to uh, California, Japan, Whidbey Island, um, a lot of people going to Virginia. Virginia is the largest Navy base in the world. So I wouldn't mind going to Virginia. Obviously there's overseas, Spain, Italy. I joined the Navy to travel. So no matter where I go, I think I made peace with it. There is a lot of Marines and Air Force on this base. So I have actually quite a few Marines in my class. And so it's kind of cool to intermix with the different branches and see what the other guys do. Uh, the Marines PT a lot, a lot more than we do. And the Air Force, the Chair Force. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sure they do some sort of PT. Like Every duty section. Maybe you gotta stand watch. You have to stand somewhere or roll around somewhere, sit at a desk and watch. Cause that's what we do, that's what we signed for. We signed the Navy so we could stand watch. Every four days, usually, sometimes if you're lucky, you get to do colors, which is sick because it's like 15 minutes long. I can't find no toilet paper. Oh, there you go. Hell yeah. Gotta wear my service uniform. And it's not too bad, honestly. It's really not that bad. Navy. Booyah, Navy. We are out here at the National Naval Aviation Museum. It's my day off today and we're checking out the sights. Beautiful Blue Angel right behind me. And yeah, it's gonna be pretty sweet. My glasses are kind of crooked, but whatever. See you in the inside. What is 60 airplanes? Incredible. That might be the biggest old school plane I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> If you're not older than this, you ain't shit. initially that is then replaced by clamps 
which are around here, that will allow the two spacecraft to be stuck together. And then you can remove the, the probe and the cone. areas dealt with specialized equipment for dropping bombs or torpedoes or launching rockets. It was 30 and 50 caliber machine guns that were found most broadly in World War II carrier-based aircraft and kept the Ordnance Repair Shops busy. Alright guys, so I've been inspired by this museum. I think I'm going to join the Navy. So we have the recruiting office right here. I'm just going to go enlist. Alright, so we're here in my room. We're gonna take a little quick tour. Basically, this is what it's like. Oh, what a... I'm super sweaty because it's like freaking 100 degrees out with humidity. But uh, yeah, this is basically the bathroom. Uh, there's supposed to be three people per room, but sometimes you can get lucky and just get two. Um, right now, actually, because of COVID, I think they're just trying to stick with two, so it makes everybody safer. And my roommate has a Keurig, and uh, you see my my desk is all nice and neat here. AM division class leader. Okay, okay. But yeah, we get these closets to fit all of our stuff in, so uh, obviously a lot more room than boot camp. This is what our bathroom looks like, and we have uh, another room on the other side that uh, is shared with us as well. So that's the tour of the barracks room where you'll be staying at when you come to Pensacola. Ah, homework, my favorite part of the day. <laughs> I'm an aviational structural mechanic, and yes, I don't know anything about that. I don't know about mechanics. I don't even know how to change the oil on my car. I was a bartender before, and I went to college for music, but I'm excited to be in aviation. I can be on an aircraft carrier, on a flight deck, working on helicopters, jets, all sorts of different planes, F-18s, growlers. I could be in a squadron. But yeah, the studying is, is intense. It's a lot of material and you have a little bit of time. Take notes, make flashcards. I'm study, 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 study. Don't party. Well, if you're gonna party, be a responsible sailor and party responsible. Pensacola Lighthouse. Construction began in 1856, was lit, hey, it was lit in 1859, and is still in use at the present time. Military discount? Uh, sir, we're on a military base. Yeah, we closed in 15 minutes. Uh. <laughs> Morning, climb at your own risk. Winding staircase. This is a good Navy workout. My legs are feeling it. Going up this long, winding staircase. Woo! No, <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> We're Navy, we don't PT like this. This is something for Marines need to get here. <laughs> Woo! All right, well, we made it to the top. There's the Navy Air Museum, Aviation Museum. And there's Monaco's Beach. Actually feels great up here. My legs are feeling good. We got a good workout for the day. It's breezy up here. It's still hot though. It's still hot. And on the starboard side, we got the airfield where all the, the aircraft take off. Beautiful out here. And <laughs> here is the light in the house. House. There's a cool like, statue of it. I give you five bucks, you can go up there. No, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Is that where the light is? Correct. Authorized personnel only. We're basically authorized. Unless your Coast Guard sent out here to repair it, you are not basically authorized. We're Coast Guard. Yeah, 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 we're Coast Gu
Thanks, buddy. Yeah, Appreciate buddy, you, man. Now oh, we've come across a local species. Crikey, be careful. I'm always got a fucking hog on him. They've been known to fuck. They consider him cultural phenomenon. He, oh shit. Christ, oh he's fucking, he's, <laughs> he's All right. All right, so we made it to the lighthouse and we climbed it and we're sweaty, but we're gonna drink some more beer now. Always stay hydrated in Pensacola. That's the most important thing about A school is it's hot, it's sweaty, it's humid out here. You gotta stay hydrated. If I learned anything in the Navy, it's about staying hydrated, man. That's And sometimes in Florida, the weather changes very drastically and it'll be beautiful and sunny out. And then out of nowhere, the rain will just start pouring, thunder and lightning, all the above, and shazam, you're in the middle of a rainstorm. Singing in the rain. And in the rain. <laughs> and then like 15 minutes later, it's bright and sunny again. I mean, the weather is just bipolar here. It's, it's kind of cool because it keeps you on the edge of your toes. When it's so unbelievably hot, it's nice to get a little cool down from the, the heavy rains. I hope you liked the vlog. I hope it was informational to you. Um, for those of you guys who are getting ready to go to A school um, to learn a little bit about what it's like here, make sure you click like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next vlog. Have a great week. Peace.